what's up guys how are we so uh, I don't know if you saw the video on uh, YouTube last week about the uh, new Triumph Explorer uh, Triumph have just announced it they've done like a little um, teaser video and it looks looks great and you remember that uh, when I mentioned in my previous uh, Explorer five-year review video that the rumors are they're gonna do a like a TFT screen which I love especially on those new KTM's and the uh, uh, speed triples and such um, and the new BMW's as well for 2018 2018 is a, a optional extra and they look great you know and there's so much information it just seems like a natural progression for me uh, for bikes to adopt that technology it just um, there's so much information you can put on there uh, and so adaptable you could you, you could apply GPS to it and obviously you know you can make and receive calls and see who's calling you blah 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 so I'm just gonna stop waffling uh, I'm gonna show you the video now obviously it's not mine I've taken it from uh, YouTube so whoever obviously try and done it so thanks to them but uh, anyway I'm gonna shut up and just show you the video so have a look What do you reckon to that? It looks pretty cool, I reckon. Uh, not much in the way of uh, sort of any new designs that I can see. There's a looks like a bit of a change to the bodywork. Uh, so let's go through what they're saying. Okay, first of all, the TFT screen looks great. Love it. I mentioned that just a second ago. I'm well up for that sort of stuff. Um, I love the instrument. The uh, control cluster on the uh, on the handlebars there, backlit. That's a really nice touch. I love that as well. Uh, so yeah, it's looking good. And you know what? They need to do this to keep up with the likes of BMW and KTM, who, as of, I mean, certainly KTM last year just took the level right up. You know, they're down on weight. They're up on power. Uh, the TFT screens, LED running lights, cornering lights. You know, which. Uh, follow the curve as you turn around uh, as you go around the corner and light your way just incredible stuff so Triumph in a way if they've taken on board everything that, G that BMW and KTM have done now if they've matched that or bettered it they should be ahead of the curve of those other two major manufacturers but We'll see. You know, either way, it's going to be an awesome bike. You know, I mean, the the, the 2012 bike is awesome, so it's going to be great either way. So, uh, so that's that. So I'm quite excited about that. And another thing. Now I've got to bring you down here for this. Okay, so everyone knows MCM magazine, very popular uh, uh, paper for all your latest motorcycle news and reviews and bits and bobs. Now, a few weeks ago, they was asking for a um, uh, readers that have owned a Yamaha VMAX uh, to give their opinions on it and stuff like that. So I sent in a, a photo of myself on a uh, VMAX, one I've owned probably about 10 years ago now, over 10 years, and my opinions on it. You know what it's like to ride, blah, blah, blah. And to my shock, they included it in the article so let me just turn it down there so there's the bike that's not me obviously but that's me there and that's the uh the, see the thing is they said give us a hundred words and i just went on this bloody rant because i'm so passionate about that particular bike i just did about 300 words and like an idiot i thought oh, they won't you know they won't use that and i sent it off and there it is it's in the bloody magazine i couldn't believe it and i even took my quote and used it as a headline so when I saw that I, I didn't even know it'd be in there but a mate of mine who lives out in uh, South Africa sent me this and he said John 
you're in the bloody magazine and I, I bought it and um, there I am can't believe it so I'm really really uh, quite proud of that that's a first for me you know I've got my um, little section in the middle so yeah it's just a, basically an article about the V Max, the second generation one and the previous one and uh, all about its, its engine and everything like that it's cult classic all right so that's it so I'm pretty pleased with that All right, that's it. Just a quick one this week. Uh, I'll be back uh, probably next week doing a uh, review on uh, something called Grip Puppies. You may or may not have heard of them. Um, and yeah, we'll get that running next week up for you and I will see you then. All right, take it easy, guys. Adios. See you soon. Bye.